Hi, Room 106. It's Miss Lily. I hope you guys are doing so well. I miss each and every one of you. And today we are back with another special arts and crafts project. Yay! Thumbs up. So guys, today we're gonna be creating a flag. And it's not just any flag, it's a special flag because soon we're going to be celebrating the Independence Day of Israel. Woohoo! Yay! So in reference to that, we're going to be creating an Israel flag. Now let's see. Who knows the colors for the Israel flag? Is it yellow? Does it have red? Does it have black? Does it have blue? Yes, it has blue. And does it have white? That's right, it does have white. Good job, you guys are so smart. So guys, we're gonna be doing our Israel flag right at home with things that you guys should have at home. And it's gonna be pretty easy and fun to create. So stick around and let's get ready. To create your own Israel flag, you're gonna need the following supplies. You could use a white construction paper or a printer paper from your parents' computer. Make sure to ask your emails and abbas for the paper if you need it from their printers. You're also going to need a pencil. You could also use a marker or a pen. You're going to need six Q-tips or cotton swabs. You're gonna need six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You're gonna need Elmer's glue. You're gonna need the following colors for paint, blue and white. But we're gonna be using the blue because our paper's already white. But if you're using another color that's construction, you can definitely use white paint. Today we're going to be creating our own Israel flag to celebrate the independence of Israel. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to grab our piece of paper and we're going to go ahead and using also a ruler. Let's not forget that, Miss Lily. And we are going to place our ruler on top of our paper. And it doesn't have to be too far apart. It's going to be literally... Let's see how many inches, guys. It's gonna be literally like two inches down. So you're gonna grab your ruler and you're gonna go down and you're gonna trace it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my line. You guys see that? So we're gonna go ahead and trace our first line. Then we're gonna flip our paper around and we're gonna do the same on the top. So our top and our bottom should look the same. Two inches apart. And if you can't count two inches, you can use your index finger and up to the second line and you're going to make your line distance. See, just like this. Finger, distance, a little, little closer. Once you have your two lines, guys, you're gonna put your paper to the side and you're gonna go ahead and grab your Q-tips and you're going to connect them like so and we're gonna make our own Star of David. So you're gonna make two triangles and we're gonna cut, we're gonna put our Elmer's glue on our triangle on each corner. And then on our second triangle, we're gonna do the same. Once you've completed that, you're gonna get help from your Ema or your Abba or any adult that's nearby, even if you have a bigger older brother or sister, they can help you too. It's a fun project that you guys can create at home with supplies that you guys already have. So we're just recycling and reusing home supplies. Once you have help from an adult or from your brother or sister, you're going to go ahead and you're going to cross. So one triangle is going to be facing up and the other triangle is gonna be facing down. This star has a special name. It's called the Star of David. Now, once you have it all together, you're going to place glue on all these borders so that they can go ahead and stick together. Now this project may take a little longer than usual. Why? Well, 
our almond glue has to stick on there and it has to dry. But if you have help from an adult and you have crazy glue or hot glue, it can be done pretty fast. Once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and as you wait, you can go ahead and start painting your glue all over your lines. So remember those two, two lines we drew up here? You can start with your paint, grab your brush, and start dipping it in and painting all over it. That should give you enough time for your Star of David to dry and your glue to settle. Once that's done and you're done coloring your blue, you can use a marker, color pencil, crayon, paint. You can get creative. You, if you don't have any brushes to paint, you could also use your fingers. Wash your hands once you're done with soap and water. Now guys, once this is completed, you're gonna go ahead and glue your Star of David. And ta-da! Your Star of David is placed on your flag of Israel. I hope you guys are able to do this project. I tried to make it as simple as possible, but if you guys need help, make sure to reach me on WhatsApp or ask an adult to help you guys so you can create this wonderful arts and craft project. I hope you guys enjoy it. Happy Independence of Israel and have fun guys. Till next time, I hope you guys are good. See you soon, I miss you all. Hugs and kisses. Bye.